Hey guys! Oh my gosh, I've missed y'all so much. So sorry that I haven't vlogged in like a century. But I'm back and I really miss you guys a lot. Yay! Um, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July. Can't wait to hear from you guys. Um, and yeah, so my computer has been going through a lot, so I haven't been able to vlog or update my blog. But I am going to update it as soon as my computer allows me to. I have so many great posts to put up because there have been so many uh, interesting and amazing things happening. I watched Me and Marie Jane last night. I was able to watch the documentary that was on Oprah Winfrey's Network, Dark Girls. I hope all you guys were able to watch that because it was amazing. The thing that happened with Paula Dean, the Trayvon Martin case, I'm following that and it's like opening my eyes more and more to the world we live in every single day. So there's just been so much going on and I'm so grateful for life and the time that I'm able to spend in Hawaii, but I'll be back home in New York really soon. I can't wait to see my family and my friends. So, but for today's vlog, like I said, there's been like so much going on and I really didn't know what I wanted to talk about or what people need to hear and I really was just like praying and like meditating because I do take this so seriously like as a platform I really think that we have been given a platform to pour into people's lives and to encourage people with the new technology we have and I wish people would just like utilize it more to lift people up instead of bring people down so I do take this like so seriously so like yeah like I'm that crazy girl that actually meditates on what to talk about before she lost <laughs> um and there were like so many different things that were like popping up and I'm not at this point I know that I really want to talk about a statistic that I saw both in Dark Girls and in Being Raging and it says that 42% of African American women have never been married while only 20.5% seven of white women have never been married mm -hmm. and I always you know okay so you know like when you think things and you think that you are just crazy and annoying because like no one else is really thinking about stuff like this and you're just being a bitter black girl that can't get a man me that's me um <laughs> But then, like, all these signs of confirmation are coming up, and I'm like, wait, hey, that's not just me. That's, like, so many other people in the world that I don't even know. Oh, my gosh, we need to all be friends and, like, make a sister truth of, like, black women that can't get men. But anyway, <laughs> so I think that this is such a great topic, and it's such a great thing to talk about. And I know a lot of my friends have been wanting me to blog about interracial love and my stance on it and why I feel the way that I feel and I think that this is a perfect way to kind of segue into that. I was watching Wendy today and Wendy was saying how she feels like the new, the future of people is just going to be swirly. Like no one is just going to be black, white, or Asian anymore. Like everyone's just going to be swirly because that's just where we're going in life. Um, and honestly, I don't know how I feel about that. Like I have... I don't want people to think that I have this huge grudge against interracial love because I don't. I think love is love and it's beautiful. Love whoever you want, be with whoever you want. Um, as an African American woman, I will say this, like I said on Twitter, and I'm not taking it back because this is really how I feel. I personally hate seeing black men with white women can't believe I just said that but it's the truth it's how I feel I'm not trying to offend anybody and I'm going to explain myself so the reason I never felt this way growing up until I went away for college I went away for college I go to a predominantly white school which is a struggle within itself every single day that I am there but it opened my eyes to a world that's bigger than New York City it opened my eyes to something 
that is so real. It showed me that yo, racism really does still exist. Institutional racism is so real and it showed me that at the end of the day, not enough nobody loves black women. And it's so crazy and it blows my mind to the point that sometimes I think I'm just imagining things and it's not real. Like you'll have people from other races that don't want to be with black women. So you think, oh, well, it doesn't matter if other people don't like us, at least our own will like us false because our own don't want to be with us anyway. And I think that it's a lot of just unrealistic expectations that we have for each other. Like, we'll say, you know what? Yeah, black power. I love natural looking black women. No, you love biracial children with curly hair and light skin and hazel eyes. Like, as African American people, that's not, I don't want to say that's not what we look like because I don't want to say that like some people aren't black because they are. But I just feel like it's such a big, like we're backwards. Like it's such a big misconception of what it means to be black. And honestly, I don't even know what it necessarily means to be black because black just means so many different things right now. But I just hate the fact that we only showcase this one type of beautiful black women. Like, the only beautiful black woman is not the black woman that is light skinned with hazel eyes and blondish looking curly natural hair. Like, honestly, most black women in the world don't even look like that. You have sisters. You have a mother. I'm sure she doesn't look like that. And it just really blows my mind that we live in a world where we just put down our own and don't want to be with our own and then you'll have black men that are moving up the social ladder that feel like oh as I move up the social ladder and I want to better myself I can't be with black women anymore anymore oh no like I need to get me a white woman because high class equals white 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 like what's the life like what is that like I'm so confused and a lot of times growing up in the hood you don't pay attention to stuff like this you don't see it because everyone around you looks like you and everyone around you is in the same boat as you and everyone around you like they love black women and everything's all good but as soon as you lead a hood it gets so real like you start seeing how how real the struggle is out here like being Mary Jane I think is one of the realest things I've seen on TV in a while like it's so real like this is a struggle that happens every single day and there was a line in the movie that really stuck out to me where it's like no, black women are ugly. We're just invisible. And I think that that is so crazy because it's so true. Like, we need to stop putting down our own. And even as black women, like, we start spewing this venom and hate into our daughters from young and we don't even realize it. We need to stop making our own feel like they are not good enough. As a young child, stop making your daughter feel like she's not good enough with her hair. She's not good enough with her skin. Like, we do it to our own children and we don't even realize that we do it. We tell our daughter like, no, you're going somewhere important today. So you need to straighten your hair. You're doing, you're going to church. You're going to prom. You're doing all this. So you have to get long, fake hair all down your back. You have to try to make yourself look lighter with the makeup you put on. You have to do this. You have to do that. Like at the end of the day, we need to start putting it into our little brown boys and girls' heads that they are beautiful just the way they are. And they don't have to change anything about themselves to look better. Look, at the end of the day, like I said in my last vlog, I'm not saying makeup is evil. I'm not saying weave is evil. I indulge myself in it. But when it starts to become something that you need to feel beautiful, when it starts to make, when it starts to make or break the way you see yourself, that's when it's a problem. And at the end of the day, yes, I started wearing makeup when I was of age. I started straightening my hair and wearing weave when I was of age. I was not wearing makeup and weave when I was in elementary school. No, that's not like, at the end of the day, why, why are you letting your child know from so young, like, yo, you are not good enough the way you are. And I feel like if parents really understood that that is what they were doing every time they tell their, especially their daughters, Every time you tell your daughter, like, no, you have to do this in order to get this result. Like, you have to change who you are in order to get better results in life. We are literally telling our children, yo, you're not good enough the way you are. Change. And then we wonder why they grow up and they have so many insecurities and they have a low self-esteem. You don't have to look too far. Like, it starts right here in our homes. Like, 
and that's the truth and we're all guilty of it like it's something that i have to be so conscious of every single day and i wish that other people would just see how serious it is like the fact that us as african-american women are so invisible it's like people look at us and they see straight through us like they don't even see us and it's it's so crazy because I've literally been saying this forever, which is so crazy. Like when it was said in Dark Girls, like I've literally been saying, like even when you look at music videos, anytime they talking about boats and holes and twerk team and everything else, just a whole bunch of dark skin, big booty, black women in the video shaking it, acting crazy. But anytime it's a love song, anytime it's something nice, it's something sweet and sensual, like, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you, the chick is always either Spanish, light skin, mixed, damn near white, like, so you saying dark skin chicks don't deserve love? Like, I'm confused. Are we just good for sex and twerking videos? Like, word? Okay. <laughs> so, I kind of went on a rant. Didn't mean to do that, but it happened. <laughs> but, at the end of the day, I think that it's something to think about. And for all you guys that weren't able to watch Being Mary Jane or Dark Girls or whatever, like, I hope that this just got you guys thinking about, yo, the way we see other people, the way we see ourselves, the way we make our children see themselves and the people under us, the little kids growing up behind us, like, how our actions influence them so much and we don't even realize it. And, girls, stop putting yourself down. Stop putting each other down. Like, at the end of the day... Don't allow yourself to be put in this hole, in this box that, yo, because you have what society may say is a, a flaw, you can't find happiness, you can't make it. And I know, like, sometimes it gets so hard, like, before I, like, I really had to pray about this, because it was becoming a stronghold in my life. Like, I was becoming a bitter black woman, and I don't want that to happen, because it gets hard when you go out in the world and you have all the attributes that literally should attract people to you but it doesn't because people are so shallow and they only see some they only see the ones like the things that aren't really that important they only care about the things that really shouldn't matter um so i get it like i know it's hard and i have a lot of strengths against me because i am an african-american plus size female and i know the struggle so i got y'all i feel y'all if y'all need to vent and talk Hit me up, all right? Twitter me at lovely Hayes, lovely underscore Hayes eighteen. Sorry guys, I'll be forgetting my Twitter. It'd be hard out here. Facebook me, Shakia Arson. Instagram at Shakia Love. I'm about to have a thousand followers. I'm hype. Don't knock my hustle. I'm really excited about that. Um, and I think that yeah, like it's just important to love yourself. And to all the guys that are watching this, if any guys even watch this, like at the end of the day, like show love. Stop being shallow. Stop being annoying. Like. I know that people have the right to like and love whatever they like, but come on, y'all. Like, I think it's really time for us to sit down and analyze what we do and don't like and what we find attractive and really ask ourselves why. Like, why do you not like dark skin girls or brown skin girls? Like, why do you not like black women? Like, I know people don't want to admit it, but it's the truth. Like, and you are entitled to that, but just tell me why. Like, what is the, what's the, ah, uh, whatever. So, that was my vlog. It was kind of more of a like, okay, I need to vent type thing. But I don't know. I want to know what you guys think. Comment on the video. Hit me up. Tell me what you think. Like, am I crazy? Am I lying? Is this not true? Like, is there a whole bunch of black love out there that I just don't know about? Like, and I'm just not seeing? Um, Let me know what's up because I don't know. I'm just, maybe I need to go to a different college. I don't know, but... I hope you guys have a great day. Have a great 4th of July. Love y'all. Love you. Love you so much. Instagram, Shakia Love. Twitter, Lovely Haze underscore 18. Facebook, Shakia Arson. So, love guys. Have a great day.